Welcome. In another video, I showed you how to use a SN7414 hex Schmidt trigger to create a simple square wave generator. One of the problems that we occurred at it, either though it was a fairly symmetrical square wave, is it only had a 47% duty cycle. Here I'll show you how to go from 47% to 50% with a what is called a JK flip-flop. Here's the original circuit again, but this time I added a 7476 JK flip-flop. It will give you a near perfect symmetrical 50% duty cycle square waves. The only difference is it will divide the frequency of the 7414 circuit by 2. Let's take a quick look at what is a 7476 JK flip-flop. Pin connections to the SN7414, uh, 7476. It is a 16-pin chip. All right, first thing you notice that the VCC 5 volts and the ground are not on pin 16 and pin 8 as in the 7414. They're in a different location. What they do, what you have here is two complete JK flip-flops. One and two. Two is the one that I happen to use. Each flip-flop has a preset, that is when the pre preset not, when preset goes low, uh, Q will go high. And of course, Q, Q not will go low. If I take clear low, Q will go low and Q not will go high. Q and Q not are always the opposite state. I'm not interested in those two connections. I will just tie those to plus five to make sure that I uh, don't have problems from them. The flip-flop, of course, has two inputs, J and K. Remember, these are this is a separate flip-flop up here. This is the one I used down here. Here, I want to use it in the toggle mode. What that means is if I tie J and K high, that is the 5 volts or VCC, we put input the square wave here on the clock pin, pin 6. Every time we have a transition from low to high, that is 0 to 5 volts, we will flip the state on Q and Q naught. If we start out, for instance, that Q is high and Q naught is low, and the clock post pulse over here on 6 goes from low to high, then we will flip the state of Q and Q naught. Q will go low and Q not will go high. It gets the next transition from high to uh, low to high. They'll flip again and so forth and so on. The state of Q and Q not only changes during the low to high transition in the clock pin. There is another thing you have to watch out for. All right, an issue to be careful of, and by the way, the 7476 is a 16 pin chip and the 7414 is a 14 pin chip. So uh, just keep that in mind. The power and ground pins on 7414 are uh, 14 and 7. Nonetheless, we have to be careful of something. You need to note which 7476 you're using. If you're using the plain TTL7476, it will toggle the output, okay, assuming that J and K are both high, on a low to high transition. If you have an LS76A, this is different. Of course, you'll have clear and pre tied to high, and you're going to have uh, J and K 
tied to high, it will toggle on a high to low transition. So the 76 itself is low to high. That is called a positive edge triggered flip-flop. The 76A uses a negative edge triggered flip-flop that is from high to low. So they have an opposite, they trigger on the opposite ends of a square wave. With that in mind, and I happen to use a 7476, I didn't use the LS one. All right. All right, here is the complete circuit using the 7414 as a square wave generator and a 7476 in its flip-flop in its toggle divide by two mode. All right, we already discussed the 7414 um, in a previous video. Test point one, it has the output square wave, if you can see that here, from the 7414. The output square wave, of course, is dependent on the resistance of this 22K and 100K pot and the value of C. Remember, you get a value T, that's R times C, divided by 2.8. And to get your frequency, you take the reciprocal of T times 2. The thing to note, let's just argue at test point one that I have a thousand hertz at a 40 and consistently in every check that I did with this by itself, it came out to a 47% duty cycle. I'd like to have a 50% duty cycle. So let us say that test point one is a thousand hertz at 47% duty cycle. In the case of this, because I used just a 7476, every low to high transition will toggle the state of Q and Q naught. What this does, because it toggles and forms if the square wave output, is going to be a symmetrical 50% duty cycle. But the frequency on test point two is going to equal the frequency from test point one divided by two. That is how a flip flop works. That's how you divide by two in a binary counter. You could take JK flip flops like this, for instance, tie Q to the clock input of another one and just have a chain of flip flops that divides by uh, two and four and eight and so forth. But nonetheless, that's how I came up with a symmetrical square wave at test point two. Remember, the frequency is going to be half the frequency of T1. So this might be something you want to uh, uh, play with. It's fun. I'll have some more circuits using this coming up. So thanks for listening. Hope this is interesting and useful. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.